What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are getting new legends. We have them today. So we've got Rivaldo, Saviola and Patrick Kluivert. We've got an attacking midfielder and then one kind of target man and one really good meta goal poacher in Saviola. I think Saviola is going to be an absolute monstrosity of a beast. Imagine him beside Collar. It would be banter. But I think he's going to be a really good player. This guy is going to remind me of Sergio Aguero, who was fantastic in the Pez series for years. He's got beautiful feet, beautiful ability on the ball. And we've also got a little bit that we can train him up as well. Goes to a 96 overall. Patrick Kluivert, more of a target man, I would say, that you're going to be getting the ball into his feet. And then just getting it out of his feet as quickly as possible. I still don't like that little 180 pass uh, or shooting, lads. I don't like that at all. But we will talk about that again later on. And then also on top of that, we do have as well Rivaldo, who I think is going to be an absolutely superb player, right? So their actual ability in game, just as we log in here, their ability in game is going to be really, really good, right? So firstly, we do have a new pack as well that we'll get in to talk about, but Rivaldo's base stats, let's, sorry, I need to adjust my camera. Rivaldo's base stats as a classic number 10 are really, really nice, right? 80 in offensive awareness, 85 balance, 81 tight possession, and 82 finishing. So he kind of shoehorns himself into a really good position of being your classic number 10 that is going to be able to not really get up and down the pitch, not really going to be breaking the lines with touch and goals, but more so kind of like a slow measured kind of attacking midfielder. So if you're used to playing with the likes of... I would say Zico or Messi or somebody explosive like Neymar in midfield, attacking midfield, or Pedri. This is going to be a bit of a change for you, right? So we do have a build for him that we're going to show you that's going to take in a lot of his um, attributes into consideration, right? So we are going to head on over here to eFootball DB, and this is a 97 rated version of Rivaldo. All we've done is really kind of highlight his passing, his shooting, his dribbling, and his dexterity. Listen, if you are going to be shooting a lot, I think the stunning shots are so overpowered at the moment. I'm going to do a lot of them on my live stream later. But if you don't shoot a lot, you don't need to put any of those points in. 82 finishing is more than enough for your attacking midfielder. But I do like to have a bit of shooting in my repertoire as well as the curl, right? But this is where it kind of comes into, and I will do dedicated training guides on these if you guys want them for different builds. But I do feel like that this guy here as the passing, Rivaldo with the passing at 80, as an attacking midfielder, if you're used to playing with different, you know, one-touch pass, really slick passers, he is going to be very, very bulky and clunky in that attacking midfielder role. Trust me, all right? I've used Rivaldo before. Trust me, other versions of him are kind of the same, right? Where you've got a really tall center midfielder or attacking midfielder. They're not as good on the ball as the likes of Pedri or Gavi or Zico or Modric. So you do have to kind of like limit how you're going to be using him on the pitch, right? And that's going to be a lot of like, you know, pop shots and stuff like that. So I would actually keep the passing at that if you are looking to improve his player skills and give him one touch pass or a low lofted pass. Any passing stat or skill you can give him is going to be an addition. Um, and also for the dexterity, people will say, oh, you don't need to go that high on the acceleration and the balance. I would go high as you possibly can to get the offensive awareness up and also the balance up. The balance with this card is going to be key. He does have 76 physical contact, which is quite nice. You can actually get that up to 78, which is a really, really, really strong. You know, it's going to be over 80. You're going to have acceleration, kick and power, physical contact, balance, place or free kicks, curl, finishing, low, low pass, lofted pass, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, and offensive awareness. All minimum 80, like most into the 90s, right? So it's a really strong card. A very, very, very strong card, right? We will also talk about... Patrick Kluivert, he's probably the least impressive of these. Kind of reminds me of Dennis Burkamp, and they've really kind of done him dirty with the balance, lads. The balance is going to be a killer on this card, as you see there. Um, but he does have a couple of interesting skills, right? So he has one-touch pass, which you would expect. He's got a wavering form. He's got long-range shooting, acrobatic finishing, and hitting. Um, so he's got some nice player skills, but it's the balance, lads. Look at the balance, man. Even when you pop 10 into it and you get 75 acceleration, 85 offensive awareness... You are only going to still get that 68 balance, right? 89 finishing is probably overkill. We can take one off that. It's still not going to get us any more on the dexterity, right? Even if you just take away the dribbling and you use him as a dedicated, and I mean a dedicated target man like I use collar, that you're not going to be running with this guy at all. And you max out the dexterity with 14 and give one more into lower body. Yes, you can get jump physical contact and finishing all at the 88 mark with offensive awareness at 89. 
but you're still lacking on that speed and the stamina and the balance is only 72 it is a killer on this card i think it's a pity because he could have been a really good target man to have with the way that the gameplay has gone and then last but not least we have javier saviola right this guy i think is going to be the new meta type player right he's got double touch he's also got soul control he does need to get flip flap if you want to have those um extra stuff extra skills chip shot control acrobatic finishing first time shot low lofted pass he's got some insane stats and skills right you're going to have 89 89 90 and 87 with 88 finishing 97 acceleration and 90 balance right are we going a little bit too high on the offensive awareness and stuff yeah we could we can top that because he's a goal poacher we can actually tap that off at 88 if we want to and still have 89 balance and 96 acceleration but this card actually gets 73 physical contact when you pop four or five into it as well which is huge for a card this good you don't need to have the physical contact if you're used to playing with a mario and stuff like that and you want to pop it into balance i definitely would pop it into balance but just if you wanted to mix it up and have a little something different right you'll still have 76 jump even though he does have heading skill he is quite small so just make sure of that um, and I think the thing with Sabiola is he's definitely one of the most unique players because, as I said, he does have heading, but he also has low lofted pass, double touch, and soul control. So it's a very big mixture. He does have standard form, but he's on B rating, obviously. Um, I think he's going to be like prime Aguero, lads. He's going to be insane in the game. Uh, I definitely think he's going to be a beast. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing for me with this card is going to be whether you decide to make him like kind of like a dribble centric player or a shoot centric player right now what i mean by that is you don't need to go this high um on the stamina or on the speed if you want to make him into a really really top class shooter right because once you have the ball control and the dribbling at that you can also kind of tweak this one and you can have 90 finishing that's going to improve the curl to 78 which will bring him up to a 96 overall and the curl will go into the 80 mark as well so let me know what you think no matter which way you build him up lads you're still going to have the main dribbling stats the finishing and the speed and acceleration with balance very very high right yes you could go all out on the balance i mean if i was building him i would probably go 86 on the finishing that's more than enough uh, because i'm able to you know i'm able to finish i'm comfortable enough in front of goal and also it's quite easy to finish lads in this game at the moment right i would probably pop none into passing um and i would probably try and give him one touch pass and then for dribbling i would probably tweak that up just to have the tight possession at 88 and then i would probably pop one more into dexterity and have that 97 acceleration be maxed out that's personally how i would train him but um i mean there's different ways of training him. so let me know if you want dedicated training guides and any of these for dedicated play styles like long ball counter or whatever and let me know what you guys think of these legends clivert is a disappointment rivaldo is going to take some getting used to but has potential to be a beast and saviola is going to be the pick of them so i will talk to you later guys don't forget to subscribe see you in the live stream later peace